Hello and welcome to Winter Disco Tabletop Gaming. In this video, we're looking at Games Workshop pre-orders for the 12th of December 2020. A little late on the mark this week. It's been a busy week, but we have some new cool Necromunda toys and some Blood Bowl toys and a few other little bits and pieces. So let's have a look. First up, we do have Necromunda House of Artifice, which is the new rulebook for the Vansar. So in this book, you get everything about the Vansar, the background, the history, and all a bunch of other rules. And we'll have a check that out in a second. So let's bring up the big image. Can't quite make out the rules right there, um, but looks like we've got a lot of background, uh, some more hangers-ons, some hired dudes, um, some additional rules. We also have some augmentations that you can buy, which I think is really cool, which is why I really like Vansar. So here we go, we've got some more images there and a little bit more. There you go. So let's have a look what you actually get. So in this book, it is 128 pages, which is awesome. Um, you get the rules for fielding the six different types of fighters, which is the primes, augmex, archaeotex, neotex, tex, and subtex. Lots of words there. So you get the background, the full list, which has all the points and the rules. Um, rules for hiring the hangers-on and brutes, and including Vansar specific ones, which is very cool. A whole bunch of new hide guns. Um, how to fold different alliances with various different houses and guilds, which is very cool. Additional rules. So you get a whole bunch of new skills, options, and gang specific terrain. Weapon reference chart. A whole bunch of tactics. So a new D66 table with gang tactics used in scenarios. And then some Dramatis Persona. Dramatis Persona. Something like that. Um, so three new characters, which is cool. I like these books. Um, it's a standard price, $78 for these kind of books. There's a ton of detail in there, just so much stuff. And I love how they're releasing these uh, specific house gang books that just have so much info in them. So it's very nice. So that's $78. And of course, we've got to have the new models. So we have the Vansar, Archaeotex, and Grab Cutters, $74 here. So in this kit, you get... Uh, six different models, so I don't quite know, know what their names are. I think these are the Grav Runners, are that what they're called? The Grav Cutters, and two Archaeotechs. So let's just have a look. They look pretty cool. I, li I like them. They're very different and uh, not so grimdark, which is probably why I like it. I love grimdark, but I like how this is different. We can have some variation in our grimdark. It's fine. It is very sci-fi for uh, Warhammer, but that's okay. So we've got the two um, Archaeotechs. Very cool models with their little spindly arms, spidery, um, you know, squiddy arms. Very nice. And then we have the Grav Cutters with some cool, like, green goblin style grab things. I really like it. I like them. I like it a lot. And... Just some cool faces, I think. I just want to steal them for the faces. And you do get the weird metallic stuff as well. Let's get some close-ups here. So yeah, Archaeotechs and Grab Cutters. Some cool guns that would fit even into other armies. Even some, um, I guess, higher up elite or officer style, style characters in the Imperial Guard. Um, even just some, like, I don't know, some... Chaos guys that have scavenged some bits and pieces. So we've got the sprue here. Looks like two sprues, probably a couple of sprues. So we've got one of the two grab cutters on this sprue. So I think you might get two sprues like this. I think that's how it worked out in the Escher um, one. I think you got two sprues, but essentially the same thing. And the nice box. So let's have a look. So it's a 38 part kit. Um, doesn't say how many sprues there are, but I'm assuming there's two sprues. So you can get you get, get a whole bunch of extra bits out of it, which is awesome. So that one is $74. Some very interesting models. Yeah, that's... I like how in Necromunda they are able to go a little bit weird and go a little bit off script and do some cool stuff like that. I'm very excited for the future and I can't wait till they start introducing new gangs or different guilds. They really need to do that. And of course, we have the tactic cards. 27 tactic cards, um, sorry, 20, $27 for 26 cards and then 18 gang specific tactic, tactics cards and eight blank fighter cards, which is always nice to have. And then we have some really nice dice, actually, $28 for these dice. 
I really like them. I want more of them. I wish there was just some more plain D6s. But you do get the Vansar sigil there. It's very spidery. Love it. But they're clear and see-through. I really like that. I don't think you have too much trouble um, seeing the icons on there once you've rolled it. I think because this is just how the light is. You can see it on the bottom that you can clearly see what they are. I think I really like it. Give us some more clear dice, please, Games Workshop. I really like it. Now we move into Blood Bowl. A lot of these have already sold out, but there are a lot of stuff that haven't been released in Australia or New Zealand until now. Um, as we've seen, shipping and sending stuff out to different territories is all over the place at the moment. We've seen that recently where the Death Guard has been delayed across the board and other random models have been delayed and releases. I think Japan recently had one delayed that's gone everyone else. Australia have had a few that have been delayed and have only just come out. Like the uh, Primaris Chaplain on bike has only just come out now. So, well, last week. So you do get the, this is the horror pitch, double-sided pitch and dugouts. So you would probably be able to still get a few of these in store. And you can try some local game stores as well. You might have some and find them online. Very cool pictures. I love it. Like the um, gravestones and tombstones would be a mess to play on. Why would you even want to play on that? I think that's ridiculous. So you get a daytime and a nighttime one. I like it. And I've already looked at that one. We also do in Australia and New Zealand, we finally get the um, horror blood bowl team, Wolfenberg Crypt Stealers. And because this has been released elsewhere, I'm just going to run through this quickly. But you can still get this. Um, I love the detail. Like, he said his leg stuck on with a bit of wood and a nail. I love it. Uh, let's have a look. Quick other ones at like a zombie that is barely being held together. I love how we blood bowl. They're able to just go a bit weird. Like, what's he got stuck in his pants there? Is that like, hay? <laughs> I don't know. I think it's like hay. Or straw, like you'd make a straw scarecrow. And let's have a look at another one. Um, the ghost. I love the ghosts. I think they're really cute. I love it. Let's see if there's actually any extra detail inside. Not that you can see. I mean, it's a tough one to paint in there. I don't quite know how you're going to get in there, but you're not going to paint any detail. But I like it. He's got a little number painted on his shoulder. <laughs> just cute stuff like that. They can just be a bit dumb. So that's $74. We won't look at that too much. Um, and... Bike issue 11, I believe this is new to Australia and New Zealand as well. So, very quick look. You could probably already get this everywhere. $25, it gives you a whole bunch of rules, a whole bunch of new stuff. Um, you get more stuff for Sylvanian Blood Bowl. A lot of stuff like that. And rules for the Necromantic Horror teams. Lovely. Um, now, there's a few other bits and pieces that have come out that are a bit strange. for the. I'm not sure if these are international or just because they're being released here. We have the Skaven team card pack for $43. So you get a whole bunch of the different things, different um, different dirty tactics and things like that. Pretty standard. $43 for that. We also get the Necromantic Horror Team version. So we'll have a quick look there. It's a ghoulish goggles, Veil of the Banshee. Um, it's a different magical memorabilia and a whole bunch of stuff. We also get the Dwarf Team card pack. So $43. Grundles, Grommel, Help, I think that's what it says, and Diamond Knuckle Dusters. Nice. Um, if you do play Blood Bowl, you'll probably want to pick up these if these are your teams. We also get some dice. Very nicely colored dice. Necromantic Horror Team Set. $25. A couple of dice for Blood Bowl. And that's all the dice you need, really. Um, very bright and colorful. I love the color. I think they should just do a whole bunch of D6s in that color. It'd make me very happy. $25 for that. We also get the Statement Team for $25. Again, similar. And these are the boxes they come in. They're just like being dumped in the box. 25 bucks for some dice that you'll probably use a lot if you play a lot of Blood Bowl. We also get the Dwarf Team, which is sort of like a white granite style thing with like all the edges sort of worn down. I like it. A bit more, it looks, yeah, it definitely looks like stone. So again, 25 bucks for that one. What else we got? We have some other weirdness, some other bits and pieces, which I really love. They're actually releasing. They're doing a lot more work with other companies and Releasing all these tiny things. This is a from Koyo. I think that's how it's pronounced. Warhammer 40k paint your own space marine pin badge. So before we do it up, let's see how big it is. Doesn't that's uh, 40 millimeters tall. So four centimeters tall, 26 wide, three mil deep. And it's zinc alloy. Very nice. Very cool. Let's have a look at some of the images here. Get a bit bigger. A lot of detail on it. 
Yeah, it's just like cast in a flat mold. Looks cool. And then you can paint it. I don't think that's being painted on. <laughs> I think that's being colored on. But you get the idea. You can paint this whatever color you like. I like it. I think that's cute. It's $18 for one of those. So four centimeters. If you do imperial measurement, an inch is almost like two and a half centimeters. So it's two inches, less than two inches, sorry. Two, two and a half, 2.6, 2.7 inches, something like that. $18 for that. But we also get some more from Koyo. This is the Mystery Faction Pin Badge. So you get a whole bunch of these. There are 12. And in each pack, you get one random one. Um, I like them. I really do. I think it's really cute. I, I think it's a little expensive for what it is. But I want to pick up one. I want some Angels of Death one. Um, I think... Yeah, it's the only one I want, really. Maybe an Orc one. That'd be cool. So... They come in a mystery box. I'm assuming that you could probably touch it and figure out what it is, but that's all right. So these are 30 millimeters, so three centimeters. It's over an inch wide or an inch tall. depends how you want to do it. Oh, and there's a small chance you'll get a rare gold Aquila. Hello. I want that one. <laughs> I think that would be really nice. There you go. If you're into that kind of stuff, pick it up. We also have Hellwinter Gate Limited Edition for $195 Australian. This is the Space Wolves Mega Limited Edition, limited to 1,500 copies. And it has 32, pa 32 page Rani Saga, uh, metal bookmark shaped like a wolf, which I think is that one there. A metal pin badge, which is that one there. Six gray dice, actually really nice dice. Nice grain, nice yellow one there. A little dice bag. Uh, runestone styled coaster with a silver finish. That's nice. It's missing the 13th chapter. Very nice. And a data card for using Jean Hammer. Let's say that. Jean Hammer pack. <laughs> I'm not sure. But let's have a look through the images, see what we've got. Nicely done. That's really nice. I like how they've got this graphic stuff inside. Yeah, I like it. Nice hardcover, leather bound. Very nice. Limited to 1500. Looks like it's actually signed. Yeah, it's signed. And it'll be numbered out of 1500. So you get Helminter Gate and Hrani Saga. And in a nice box, I doubt that's a wood box. I think it's just like got a wood pattern on it. Um, but it looks very nice. So you get all your little bits and pieces there. So a big bookmark, which is very nice. Probably rip up your pages if you're not careful. And the data card there for the different characters. So there you go. One, two, three, four, five, six different characters in there. And I'm sure you could kit bash them all to be how you like them. There we got the Space Wolves pin. And we're back to the beginning. Very nice. So not much else to say about it. Um, it's a 384-page hardback novel and a 32-page Hrani Saga book. I think if you are a Space Wolves fan, you might want to pick that up. $195. So that's all for Games Workshop. But over on Forge World, we have Adeptus Titanicus Mechanicum Serastus Knight Atrapos. Atropos. I've been practicing that word and I still stuffed it up. <laughs> so $92 for two nights. This is $92 Australian. I, every time um, Adaptus Mechanicus, Adaptus Mechanicus? No, Adaptus Titanicus. Wow. Um, each time these models come up, I get a little bit excited and want to buy them and play them at um, Apocalypse Rules. I think that's nice. So there we go. We got the two models there. They are odd looking, but that's what these knights are. And some close-ups and some look in the resin. So there we go. So with these models, so it's a resin kit, includes 20 components. So you can build two with Atropos Les Cutters and Graviton Singularity Cannons. Ooh. Uh, it's also one full color double-sided command terminal for the knights. And what else do we get? Rules, a bunch of other stuff too. And instructions how to do it. And some nice cool things down the bottom. Just got distracted by that. So there we go. That's it. That's all we got for this week. Um, it is a bit odd at the moment. Releases are being delayed and repositioned because of everything that's going on in the world. So who knows what next week will bring. Tell me below what you like. I do love the Knights and the new Vansar models. And if you have enjoyed these videos and you're not subscribed, please do subscribe and hit that bell button to get all the notifications when new videos come out. We do this one every weekend, usually on a Saturday, sometimes on a Sunday. Depends how busy we are. So until next time, thank you for watching and I'll see you later.